We've created our internal host-only network under VirtualBox Preferences, Network, Host Only. We have this VBox Net Zero. That's a 10.0.3 address range from 10.0.34 all the way through 100. And now we need to move all these machines over to that private host-only network. That means they'll be able to see one another. They just won't be able to see out to the public internet. And that's what we need for most of the exercises that we're going to do in ethical hacking. So I'm going to come to my Kali Linux box network. And instead of the NAT, which allowed me to see out to Google and other places, I'm going to choose a host only adapter. And that's going to be my VBox Net Zero. VirtualBox doesn't let you rename these host only adapters, but that's okay. VBox Net Zero is always going to be our private network. Whenever you're on VBox Net Zero, you know that your Kali Linux box can only see your host computer and the other computers on your virtual lab network. It won't be able to do anything on your school's network, your work network, uh, the coffee shop or library, or any other network that you're attached to, including the internet. So we've changed the Kali Linux boxes network to the host-only adapter VBox Net Zero. We need to do the same thing for Windows 10. We just double click on the network, come to the adapter host only, VMOX Net Zero. And we'll do the same thing for each of our VMs all the way down. This means they will no longer have access to the internet, but that's a good thing for most of the things we're doing. We'll have a second network that we can switch back to, and um, we'll see how to set it up in the next lesson. So let's go ahead and do our Android device, same thing. We'll only be able to see these devices from inside our host-only network. And finally, good old Metasploitable 2 network host-only adapter VBox Net Zero. All right. And now if I boot my Kali Linux machine, for example, and come to the terminal, if I run an ifconfig, ifconfig, See, I still have that old 10.2 address, so I know I'm not on the correct network. I just need to restart my network services. So I'm going to type in the command sudo, this is super user do, service network dash manager restart. And now if I if config, I have the same address. Okay. <laughs> That's all right, we can, uh, let me do one other quick thing with you. I'm going to use my host F key to bring it back from full screen to a smaller window. And what we can do is the same thing we did on Windows. We can connect the network adapter, to, we can disconnect it and then reconnect it. And then we'll go back to full screen, sudo service network dash manager restart. And let me just say really fast, we can uh, always reboot the machine and that will make it go back through the network setup. Uh, but you uh, will usually be able to do just a uh, networking restart or unplug the cable and plug it back in on that bottom right hand side and then do a sudo service network manager restart. Now we do an IF config and we have a new 10.0.3 address. In fact, because this our Kali Linux box is the first one we connected to the network, we got that front position, 10.0.3.4. So this will be the address of our Kali Linux box and we'll be able to see it from other machines. So I'm gonna go back from full screen. I'm gonna leave my Kali Linux machine running and then I'll pull up my Windows 10 box. So I'm gonna open up my Windows 10 and I'm gonna try disconnecting from the network in the lower, the bottom right. And then I'm gonna reconnect. It looks like the two little network computers down there, you can disconnect and reconnect a time or two. And now if we'll come to our start menu and type CMD in the search. And IP config. We can see we still have that 10.2.15. So we're going to do this one more time, type CMD. And now we're going to right click. And remember we could reboot the Windows machine the same way.
Then I'm going to right click on that command prompt that came up after I typed CMD into search and go to run as administrator. This is sort of the equivalent of super user do or sudo in our Kali Linux environment. I'm going to type the command net sh. So just like my uh, network manager over in Linux, I'll do net sh winsock reset. And now let's do an IP config. And we now have a 10.0.3.5 address. So one more time, that was net sh winsock reset. So that reset the Windows socket adapter, our networking adapter, just like uh, the sudo service network manager restart. We did net sh winsock reset, and that gave us a new IP address on the 10.0.3 network. Because the Windows 10 was the second box we restarted, we got a 10.0.3.5. And remember that 10.0.3 will tell us that we are on our private network, which is the important part that we care about when we're doing most of these ethical hacking labs. We don't want to interfere with anything on the real network that we're attached to most of the time. I will close and save the machine state for the Windows box. And then I'm going to make the same change to the Metasploitable 2 box. Now for the other machines, you can just reboot them. That's absolutely fine. But I'll go ahead and show one more way to uh, change the network on the Metasploitable machine. All right, I've opened my Metasploitable machine and I'll leave it up in here. And uh, remember, we have already changed our host only adapter VBox Net 0 with our new settings. So I'm going to say, I'm going to log into my Metasploitable box with MSFADMIN and MSFADMIN. And I'll do an IF config. See, it still thinks it has that old 10.0.2 address. Show you one more way on Linux to change uh, the up and down, uh, the interface up and down to uh, plug it in and unplug it. So just plugging in and unplugging the network adapter doesn't always work. If I do another IF config by hitting the up arrow, I still have that 10.0.2 address. So I'm going to say super user do sudo IF up, oh sorry, if down, so I'm going to take the interface down, and I'll make this a little bit bigger. There we go, I've made it 200% size. Pseudo if down, well you can see that my first internet adapter, my first ethernet adapter, my first networking card, is eth0, eth0, so I'll say sudo interface down, eth0, and then I have to give the password for MSF admin, which is MSFADMIN. And then we will just do an up arrow, and this time we'll say sudo if up ETH0. And notice it has a 10.0.3 address now. So if I IF config, I should see 10.0.3.6. Well, notice my Kali Linux box got 10.0.3.4 because that was the first address. 10.0.3.5 became my Windows 10 PC. And 10.0.3.6 became my Metasploitable address. Well, one other thing that I forgot to show you on the Windows box was that we can now see from one of these machines to the other. So if I'm on my Metasploitable box and I say ping 10.0.3.4, 3.4, notice I'm getting communication back from my Kali Linux machine. And I can control C to stop that. And the same thing over here, if I say ping 10.0.3.6, I'm going to get communication back. Control C to stop that. I won't be able to see my Windows box because I forgot and shut it down. But now we have all of our computers on this network and they're actually configured. I may need to reboot my Android and my Windows 7 boxes to pick up the new 10.0.3 private address, but we have a, an ethical hacking lab that we can do things really safely on. Nothing will get out to the public internet from here. So some pretty good stuff. I will clear and I will save my machine state for both of these and we'll see how to set up a public network for when we do want to use it that's a little bit safer in the next lesson.